Hey, Sandy, happy Friday to you too. All right, I see some people are starting to get in here. This is what we're making today. I made this adorable little snowman soap. It's a um, soft soap, a liquid white soap. I peeled off the labels and then did some goo gone and got all the sticky off and then washed them with soap and water and let them dry thoroughly. And now we're gonna doll them all up. These will make great hostess gifts. Um, this is a great thing to send to the teachers. Uh, you can bring these with you to the uh, beautician, to the post office clerk that waits on you all the time. You can take these to the dry cleaner, to the bank. Anybody would just love to get one of these and it's a very useful little gift. So I'm making about 20 of them for my um, craft fair. I have one on November 4th in Carpentersville at the Moose Lodge. And I have one on November 18th at Rolling Meadows High School. And they're quick, fun craft, easy to make. Thanks, Sandy. I think they're pretty adorable myself. I saw a similar idea using Cricut cartridges on Pinterest and thought, oh my gosh, how cute would that be? And adapted it to um, stamping up stuff. Hey, thanks, Kat. I think they're pretty cute myself. All right, so... I see that we've got a few people watching and we're definitely past noon, so I'm just gonna jump in and get started here. I'm making these for market, so the first thing I wanna do is run through what Stampin' Up! supplies you need, and then I'm gonna show you how I cut my eight and a half by 11 paper to get as many of these little mitten tags as I can. All right, so Stampin' Up! supplies that you need to make this project. Actually, you know what, hmm, all right are the Smitten Mitten Bundle, and I am featuring this bundle in my December Stampa Stack. You can take it here on December 11th, or you can take it to go. You can get it with the bundle or just the class kit, and I'll give you a sneak peek of those cards in just a little bit. So Smitten Mitten Bundle includes the Smitten Mitten Stamp Set and the Mini Mittens Framelits. We're going to use a three quarter inch and a half inch circle punch and I have the old style Stampin' Up! ones. So we're going to do that. Um, stamp pads for this project are real red and basic black and I'm real heavy. I'm going to put some garden green in some of these too and then I'm probably going to do some with little snowflake mittens. So I'll have quite a variety of them. I'll try and catch some pictures when they're done for the blog or for Facebook. Uh, let's see here, what else do you need? I've got one foot of the burlap ribbon and I like the rustic look with these scarves. So what I did was take 12 inches and then I'm just peeling out the little um, threads here. And these burlap threads are more rustic than the linen thread and I like the look of that. I'm having a little trouble getting it started. Let me grab my paper snips here. If you cut it hot dog ways down the width, they come apart a lot easier. So I'm just gonna do that. This will make a whole bunch of tag ties. I think it makes eight or nine tag ties. All right, so then you just peel those right out. And that's how I'm gonna tie my tag on. I like the rustic look of it. All right, a couple of not Stampin' Up! supplies. Oh wait, let me show you a couple other little things. I've got Emerald Envy cardstock and real red cardstock scraps. I've got a sheet of eight and a half by 11, very vanilla. I'm going to use my cable knit 3D um, textured embossing folder. I just love the look of this. Take a look at how cute that is on this mitten. It's just a little detail and you can emboss two mittens fronts at one time. So for me, I'm making them for, for market. So I'll be doing it that way. Uh, what else do I have here? I have the scarves are just some craft store fleece and I cut these on a rotary paper trimmer so they're 12 inches by one inch and I got a couple of different patterns from the craft store and you'll also need another craft store supply here. I've got self-adhesive vinyl. I've got black and orange self-adhesive vinyl. And then the soft soaps I got from the Dollar Tree, and I do believe that they're even less expensive at Walmart, so I'll probably go back and look for some more. So those are sources of the non 
Um, I found the vinyl on Amazon, but I bought the last one that they had according to their inventory. If I can find a source, I'll link it. Um, I think that's about it for supplies. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is get my little vanilla cardstock here and I want a bunch of tags out of this one so I'm going to show you how I cut that. Right, bringing in my paper trimmer, clearing away my snowman. I've got an eight and a half by eleven inch piece of very vanilla so I'm going to cut off on the eight and a half inch side six inches. And then I'm going to turn this two and a half inch piece that's left and I'm going to cut off six inches. Now I'm going to score this little piece at three. And I'm going to score this piece at three inches. Get the cutting blade out of there before I cut it. And then going to rotate and cut off two and a half inch pieces. So if you're making a bunch of these for gifts, you've just gotten two and now three. Four and five tags out of one sheet of paper. So not too bad. So there's the little mitten tag. It's going to make a fold over. Robin, I'm glad you're here. Better late than never. I'm just getting started. And this is what we're making. We're making this adorable little snowman soap with a smitten mitten tag. I'm making them for market. We'll see how they go. All right, let me put that aside for a second and we'll get back to our tag here. I'm going to grab my bone folder and fold one of these down. I'll put the rest aside because you don't need to see me make 20 of these, but that's what I'm going to do. So these are my tags for another project. And this one is ready to die cut. I'm going to set it aside though because we're going to do our stamping first. Let me get the project in here so you can see what we're working at. Now, I've got my Stampin' Pierce mat and I'll get some ink pads. got real red and some emerald envy. I'm going to hold off on the basic black because we're going to stamp the mitten with that so we'll pull it back out in just a minute. I've got the little tree image from Smitten Mittens and I've got the little heart image and since I am doing these for market I like to do as much cutting as possible. Thank you, Robin. I think it's pretty adorable, too. All right, so I'm going to take my Emerald Envy and stamp a tree and my real red, and I'm going to stamp off heart. Now I'm going to put this aside and grab my Big Shot. All right, got to move Mr. Snowman out of the way here. And I've got it set up for die cutting, so that means I've got my thin die adapter and I've got two cutting pads. And I'm going to take the dies from Smitten Mitten and we're going to do a bunch of cutting all at one time. There's nothing that makes me happier than running a whole bunch of dies through at one time and getting a whole bunch of cuts from one crank. So that's the mitten cuff. Let me show you what that does. See, it cuts out this little um, rectangular piece. So that's what the die does. And then inside I've taped this little texture piece and it does all it does is add this little texture. It's really a great little piece. Stampin' Up! has been including lots of die sets that have cutting dies, but in addition to that, they have these fun little texture pieces. And so I've been having a lot of fun with that. Then I've got my little cross stitch heart and I've got my little stitched tree. Pretty good. Now slide these guys over 
and to really get a lot of bang from my crank I'm going to take my little very vanilla folded panel and I'm going to put the fold right below the cutting edge of the die so you can see that cutting edge is still exposed when we that way we don't disturb our little fold over all right hack that down with some low tack tape put that one on the machine now we can crank all of that and get all those done at one time plus it's a great way to use up scraps Hello, Pamela Pick from Iowa. I'm glad to see you here. I hope you're well. And you, I know you've had some excitement in life lately. You're on my mind, sister. All right, so here's our fun little mitten now. And because we put that cutting edge above the fold, we've got a great little fold over tag. Now, here's a little Christmas tree, stitched tree and a little stitched heart. I don't know which one we'll use. We'll decide in just a minute. All right, and my little mitten cuff is right here. I think I've got a red one somewhere too. I think I cut a red one earlier. I don't know. Got a stack of stuff over here. Uh, yeah, here's a red one that I cut earlier. Pretty cute, huh? All right, since we've got the big shot out, let's rearrange it real quick and do some um, embossing and so for the embossing we need a cutting pad no thin die adapter and this is one of the 3d dynamic ones so that's it now i've got my little mitten dude here let me pull these bits aside and we're going to put it right in the edge of the embossing folder here now, you could do two next to each other at one time, which is what I'll be doing since I'm making these for market. You want to lay that onto your machine. Let me move this over so you can see. I put the back half of the mitten into the machine, add the cutting pad over top, and then give it a crank. Pamela, I'll show you what we're making in just a second, just in case you missed it. And now look at that adorable mitten. It's got such a pretty cable knit pattern on it now. Okay, let me get this guy out of the way. I think we're done die cutting. All right, so this is what we're making today. Just in case you just joined us, I see people coming in and out. We're making this adorable snowman soap with this smitten mitten tag. And the greeting says, may you have many merry moments surrounded by those you love. Let's go ahead and stamp that in there. So I've got my stamp and pierce mat. Oh, I'm glad you're back. Did you see what we're making, Pamela? Okay, so there's my basic black ink and my greeting. I'm gonna ink up well and stamp inside. <laughs> hey, baby. Aren't you supposed to be painting chalkboards for me? My husband just popped in and said, "My per your, hi, your personal cheerleader is here. I just love that man. All right, that's that. So I got my little greeting in there. You know what? Bear with me because these are for market. I want to just stamp the back real quick because when you sell your handcrafted stamping up stuff, you need to put a copyright on it. And so I'm going to do that real quick. Please hold. Thanks, Pamela. I thought it was pretty creative, too. I actually saw the idea from a Cricut um, post from years ago. I guess there was a Cricut file that did a snowman face, then the link was all corrupted now. So I just got creative with stamping up stuff and made one. All right, so I stamped the back for market with the copyright tag. Now, let's move the Stampin' Pierce mat out of here and get... The rest of our tag together all right these are some of the bits that I've got and I'm gonna do one this time with a little bit of red on the cuff and a little green tree see I got all the bits ready for the next one too I'm using multi-purpose liquid glue because of this texture we want 
really secure this. And I'm gonna glue the cuff to the top of the mitten. Thanks, Jackie. I can't take credit for it. It was a Pinterest idea, but I did find it and adapt it for Stampin' Up! That much I did. All right, now I need some dimensionals and I've buried my video bucket. Ah, here we go. And so I got mini dimensional here. I'm gonna put two on the back of this little tree. Maybe one and a half, maybe two. I don't know. It's gonna get handled. I don't want it to come loose. And pop that on my little mitten. Now we're gonna let the glue dry for a bit. Oh, I don't know which one I like better, but it's a pair because I embossed it inside out. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am in love with Smitten Mitten. All right, so we're gonna get to the snowman face here in just a second. But because we're on the Smitten Mitten conversation, let me give you a sneak peek, all right? Facebook Live is awesome because I can really just you know, go off script a little bit. All right, Smitten Mitten is my bundle class for December. We're doing it here December 11th. You can take it to go to. And the Smitten Mitten class will consist of two, it's a stamp -a stack of this design, two of this design, and two of this design. You guys are the first people to see it. Isn't that cute? All right, if you're interested in classes with a kitchen table stamper here in the Chicago area or to go, kitchentablestamper.com slash calendar is where you can find my schedule of events. All right, so that was that was really exciting for me. I love how those cards turned out, and that's the first time I've shared them with anybody. All right, back to our little snowman face here. I've got some self-adhesive vinyl, and we're going to use a three-quarters inch circle punch, and we're going to punch some eyes. Now, I was punching through both the release paper and the vinyl, and it was punching just fine, but... Oh gosh, Pamela, you're welcome. I'm just doing my job, making you want sets you didn't know you wanted. Yeah, the Smitten Mitten was one of the first things I saw and said, oh, that's so me. All right, I'm trying something a little crazy here, live on Facebook. That's the way to try something new. I wanted to see if I could punch it without the backing because the backing is really hard to peel once you've got a little hole punched out. But I'm also afraid that my vinyl is going to lose its stick, so... No place better to experiment with stuff like this but on Facebook Live, right? So, I've got my three quarter inch circle punch and I am not sticking to the punch too bad. Okay, we're gonna have to punch through both layers, but that's okay because I know it works. All right, so we're gonna punch out two three quarter inch circles. And then we're gonna punch out half inch circles, five of those. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, we got a sticker. Five, maybe one or two for good luck. I think some landed on the floor. <laughs> All right, now the nose. Here's where things got a little tricky. I built myself a snowman nose. I just took some pumpkin pie paper and I made my very own shape. And then I took the multi-purpose liquid glue, smeared it on the back of my carrot nose, let it dry completely, and now it's repositionable. So there's my template. Then I'll take and stick my little template to the vinyl. It's got a repositionable stick. I'll grab my paper snips, and I'll just cut right along the edge of my cardstock. Template. Get that out of there so it's a little easier to handle. So you have to create the carrot nose just once. I couldn't find a punch that quite worked for it or anything. But then once you've created it, it'll just repositionable stick to the vinyl and then you can peel it off. Now this is going to be the fun part to do on Facebook Live, so I saved some chit chat for you because I'm going to peel and stick these little circles and my carrot nose now. But did you know that Stampin' Up! is having a hostess special right now? So if you 
have an inclination to share the catalog with your friends and collect some orders that total $300, I believe it is, um, I'll check my numbers after I stick all these eyes, you could get the Mary Patterns exclusive stamp set. Look at that. I'll keep peeling and sticking eyes as a noses while you feast your eyes as on this. I am just loving this stamp set. It's exclusive for hostesses. There's no other way that you can get it. Um, if you place an order yourself for the minimum qualifying, you can have one of these sets. Or if you combine your orders with friends and um, you coordinate that order, then you can earn one of these as well as some great host rewards. All right, so now I've moved on to the half inch circles. And you can see that I start from the center and then I'll move out from there and build my snowman smile. These are coming off much easier than I thought they were going to on camera. I figured I was going to have a whole lot of trouble. And I'm finding that my punch is um, chewing the edges just a little bit. But I don't think I mind because it's supposed to be like coal mouth. And I think it looks more realistic actually. So at first I was um, trimming the edges a little bit where the punch was grabbing. But now I'm just kind of leaving it because I think it gives him some character. So I'll just burnish these down really well. And the last little one for his mouth. We're almost done with him. Hmm. See? I spoke too soon. You like the expression of just one little coal for the mouth, Jackie? Like he's going, wow! <laughs> Ooh! Well, he might not be getting the fifth one because I can't get the backing off of it. Should I leave him with just four? I can't get it. Oh, look, I got it. Should I leave him with just four or should I stick it on there? You guys get to tell me. I'll start working on the tag. All right, so we got our little mitten. And what I want to do now is find my one eighth inch hole punch. And I am going to punch a little hole all the way through all the layers of the tag. Yeah, I think, I think that three and four is pretty cute. I might leave this one just like. All right, so those are our colors. Let me see what kind of scarves I have here. Got this fun little plaid one. We're going to put that one on him. Um, I said early in the video, um, you think he needs the last one, Robin? <laughs> Sandy says add it. Ooh, okay. We're, we're, we're two to one. I think we're going to add it. All right. So what we'll do with the fleece is tie it nice and snug. And you're going to tie over, under, over, under. And then pull them up together on the ends. <laughs> Yay, Pamela. Thank you for being my personal cheerleader, too. I need you guys. All right, so here is the end of the scarf, and we just fringed both ends at one time with our paper snips. Huh, what a cutie he is. All right, I'm adding that last dot. And... Ta-da! All right, then this piece that we pulled off of the burlap... We're going to wrap it around the top here and tuck through back to front. That's hard to do looking through the phone. And then we'll tie a pretty little bow. Get back up here, you. There he is. What do you think? <laughs> He's a cutie. Thanks, Chris. Oh my goodness, Chris, how are you? I'm so glad to see you here. I hope you're doing well. I miss you, sister. Isn't this a good coworker gift, Becky? Or when you're invited out to something last minute at the holidays, you can put one in a in a um, little cellophane bag or just give it like it is. It's a great hostess gift, too. Sandy, you like three or four for the mouth better than five, huh? Well, they're going to have to have some different expressions, I think. All right.
Okay, does anybody have any questions about the project? Any questions about anything? I got vinyl, I got fleece. Those are craft store products. You can find them in your in your local craft store. He's a pretty simple little craft, I think. Okay. That's it. I'm going to put a project sheet on the blog later today so you'll be able to find a list of supplies. Oh, here, Robin, this is it. It's one of these little soft soap ones. And then I just peeled the front label off and took a little goo gone to get it off. I did soft soap, the actual real brand, but I'll be, tell you right now, um, I am going out after this video to Walmart to see what shape bottle their Equate brand comes in because it'll be less expensive. But you know that the soft soap is gonna be the right shape for this particular craft. I'll give you a report and let you know if the Walmart brand is a good substitute. I've heard that they're 88 cents for the Equate brand at Walmart. These were a dollar at Dollar Tree. So if you're thinking about making them, those are some. Okay, so I'm looking up right now. Mary Patterns is free with a $300 order. Whether you place that order yourself or you collect orders from your friends, you'll be seeing a couple of samples with this coming out from me. Um, I just got it and I think it's awesome. All right, if you've got any questions about Stampin' Up, about the project, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. I'm so glad that you came out and joined me on your lunch hour, girls. I'll be back next Friday, Facebook Live. I'm doing lots of craft fair projects lately. Oh, thanks for all the hearts. You guys make me so happy. All right, go get some lunch. My husband's home today. I'm going to go and see if he wants to have lunch with me. The mitten is a dye, Chris. It's from the Many Mittens Framelit set, and it can be bundled with the Smitten Mittens stamp set. And you'll see that I used this little tree and this little cross-stitched heart on my mittens. And then the dies for my mitten, I used this open one and this fun little piece for my cuff. I love that it cuts the cuff and embosses the detail if you want it to. You can just tape that. There's two separate dies. Isn't that pretty cool? And the rest of the set is a lot of fun too. So Stamp Up has been doing these fun little texture pieces with their die sets that I think are just so cool. So instead of having the straight ribbed cuff, you could have this like kind of cable knit cuff. Um, it's got this little uh, like crochet stitch that you can put across the mitten. I used the cable knit embossing folder to give my mitten some texture, but it includes one of these little cable knit dies and it, or I should say this like crochet die and then this cable knit, these all just do texture. And then there's a little loop in case you want to hang your mitten or make it look like an oven mitt. There's this fun Nordic pattern. And that cuts out all these little negative pieces like this one in my class sample. So this one I cut very vanilla with that little Nordic pattern and pool party with the solid and then layered them up. Isn't that adorable? For those of you who didn't see it, this is the Smitten Mitten class that's coming in December. Anybody want to see my Quilted Christmas? Quilted Christmas class is November 13th, and there's information to take this here to go. This is my Quilted Christmas class. And there's stamp stacks so you make two of each. This one, and this one, and this one. All right, that's it. I'm out unless you've got more questions. Anybody got questions? All right, look for the project sheet with the measurements, supply list, 
everything that you need on the blog later today. Thanks for sharing your lunch hour with me. Have a great day.